guys, well, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for letting me be here today with you guys. I, um, my name is Edmund, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here. I um, heard you guys are having a Suzuki recital today, which is absolutely fantastic. I started out learning Suzuki when I first uh, started playing the violin when I was four years old. And although I no longer play, and I've not played for six years, I, um, I am very thankful for having the ability, for, for having had the violin in my life. You know, my parents were persistent with me. There was many times where I wanted to quit. There's many times where I wanted to go out and have fun with my friends. And I think one of the best things that could have ever happened to me is my parents being persistent and always encouraging me to, to keep playing. And I say that because it, it gave me a little bit of a work ethic, a little bit of discipline, and I've been able to apply that in different walks of my life. And it's helped a lot. So, you know, I, today I own my own business. It's international and I do well for myself. And I would say it's thanks to my parents making me learn the violin when I was younger and giving me that, that work ethic and that discipline. Because I'm sure uh, those of you that have kids that play and, and those of you that play, um, you know, it's easy to say, I don't want to do this anymore and, and, and I want to quit. I, I think it took me, uh, I started when I was four and I don't think it was till I was seven years old that I could actually, you know, play. I mean, for me to play open string, it took years. So if you guys are doing it in two months or six months, you should feel good about yourselves. And you can really, you know, stick with it because Sometimes people just give up too soon. And, and if you stick around long enough to figure it out, you can, it'll take you to a place that's extremely beautiful. Violin today not only has helped me to, to become successful in different endeavors, but also to, to cope with things, you know, happiness and, and sometimes tragedies. So um, I don't want to go to that place, so I'll play a happy piece for you guys today, a um, little gypsy piece. Probably won't be able to finish it because I haven't practiced. But uh, it's my little gift to you guys and myself, and thank you for having me here. So we're going to go ahead and play Shardas by Monty. And this is obviously supposed to be accompanied by piano, but that's okay.
have to make sure you know the end of the piece. But thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And there's one last thing I can share with you guys. I quit playing the violin when I was 17 years old. And until recently, I'm 24 now, so it's been a few years. And until recently, it was one of the biggest regrets I've ever had in my entire life. And it was an extremely deep, deep pain. And, and so, you know, if, if you ever get to that level where you, you start really playing, you know, and it starts getting tougher and tougher because it goes from being your passion to something you have to do over and over and over again in order to get it right, just push through because sometimes you don't really truly realize what you have until you lose it. All right. And you guys. just a really fun question. I know that you have a tight schedule today. What was the reason that you wanted to stop when you were 17? What was the official reason? The, the official and the true reason is um, it was college auditions and you have to get into, you know, Juilliard or USC or NYU or Colburn or the Curtis, you know, Colburn and Curtis being the top two and then Juilliard. And it's a, it's a very stressful time where you're competing against so many other amazing musicians from all over the world, not just the United States. And I, I didn't real, I, I was under too much pressure, you know, and I didn't realize it's okay not to be the best, or it's okay to not necessarily get into the school you want to go to, and it's okay to take a few more years and, you know, balance. So, awesome, guys. Have a great one. Thank you.